Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. Television review on Kimaru Kaizo here, who was released in 2012. He's a copyright 2011, meaning a 2012 release. As a deluxe, he obviously appeared in Cars 2. He's on the uh, Porta Corsa background, as it was called. Obviously, Porta Corsa based on Monaco very, very heavily. And there's Kimaru Kaizo, number 11 in the deluxe line. On the back, you've got Pinion Tanaka, Pope Pinion, the Pope Mobile, the Queen, Kimuro Kaizo himself, funny car major. Obviously, this is in order 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think if you look on my channel, you'll find a review of him. Actually, I actually think you'll find a review of all these, of all four of these. Maybe not these two. I don't know. But I think you'll find, I think, I'll definitely, I think you'll find a review on these two. I think you might even find a review on those two. Not him. I don't even have him. Um, but obviously, Kimuro Kaizo here is getting reviewed. Nice card art there, and yeah, let's uh, let's take him out of the package. For such a kind of obscure scene, Mattel released four die casts from it. They released both the wrestlers, obviously the sumo wrestlers. Obviously, he appeared in Tokyo in the sumo wrestling match. This is stuck on there. I've never seen that, but yeah, um, appeared in the sumo wrestling match. They released both sumo wrestlers. They released Kabuki Mater, and they've also released um, him here. So, yeah, for such an obscure scene, uh, Mattel did release quite a bit of diecast from. So yeah, let's get on to the review re with the review of Kimuro Kaizo here. He's got a pretty relaxed expression. Obviously, made in China, it's 2012, so obviously made in China still. So very nice quality of eyes there. He is smiling. Some headlights there. There's a grill. He's got some red lights underneath. And this thing kind of really shoots out quite a bit in front of him. I don't know, like this under carriage part here. Really, the splitter, I guess, really shoots out quite a lot here in front and underneath. And there's, look at, look at that. You know, if you look at a, this car, for example, this car is really, that was not really good anything. But if you look at him, this is the normal distance between the splitter and the base it's really like minuscule but if you look at that that's a lot of distance between the base and the splitter there at the end of the splitter so i know that's kind of weird you go on to the side here he's got this thing which i think means like fair fight or not like it's his ruling like that's what he rules with he's got some japanese characters here that i don't know what they say so maybe like Kind of looks like a moon and a circle there. And on the back here, he's got just a red sign, like a red dot. So I'm assuming that means like illegal or something. And this means fair. I don't, I don't know, really you know. You can see it's kind of attached right there. Kind of like the cameras. It's attached right there. So it's right on the wheel. That's where he would have it in the movie. It would be right on the wheel. So it's right there, but it's not actually touching the wheel. If you look at the card art here. There it is. So, you can see how it's, he's holding onto it on the wheel, and the characters are correct. The shade of purple, though, doesn't look quite right, but whatever. On the side here, he's got these logos, which are tires on the side. Very interesting. Pretty cool, actually. Pretty cool logos. They just got a bunch of tires on the side there. This black thing continues along the car. He's got some windows there. Got like four windows in like two normal sized ones, a very teeny tiny one, and then this one in the back. Here. I do like his rims though. I feel like I feel like these have been used. I feel like Kit Revster maybe used these. I feel like these rims have been used before. Or well, actually, here they are right there. Yeah. But I think I feel like Kit Revster had these rims. Maybe very, very similar rims to this, but he definitely did uh, have rims like that. But yeah, these rims were used before. Um the tire decoration continues towards the back here. You've got the tail lights there and the window. And then this is really weird because his license plate should be probably a Japanese license plate. Kind of like um, uh, Alex Vandal. Kind of like Eric Langley here. Who, like, honestly, we probably should flip flop the license plates. Eric Langley should probably have, like, a fishbowl license plate. Maybe not, though. Maybe Eric is a Japanese citizen. I don't know. But he should definitely have a Japanese license plate. 
and uh, not a fish bowl license plate. I don't like an American license plate. And he also probably should have license plate fish bowl, but Mattel really liked using that license plate. They put it on a bunch of cars. Like, I think they put it on like Maldorado, Carlo, Maserati, a um, bunch of lemons they put it on. I think they put it on Cruz Besoro. They put it on a bunch of cars. I'm not exactly sure why. And up over that, it says Wheel Creek. I'm not exactly sure what Wheel Creek is, but it does say that about the license plate. Got the black thing here. Like, look how far off the base that is. Like, the base is kind of inside the car. It's very funny, um, but kind of interesting, but whatever. On the other side here. Uh, same as the other side and he's got this really cool hat which is why he was a deluxe mainly because of the hat and probably this piece but they, they could probably made it attachable like the eric langley flag came separate in the box they probably could have done the same for that if not for the hat which is very big and it's very cool it's got like almost like three pieces it's got this separate piece then attached to that piece and then it's attached to the bigger piece here, which is attached to the base. And it's all tied together with this seemingly like a rope. It's tied to here. And then it's tied to the base right there somewhere in the wheel well, which is very interesting. I'm never like tying your hat like that. I'm not exactly sure. If we look at the um, card art here, you can kind of see how it's tied all together there. You can see kind of latches on there. Should have like a silver decor right there. But they didn't allow that, but whatever. But yeah, very interesting. Very nice hat there. But that is why he was a deluxe. So yeah, let's put him on the turntable here. Give him a ride on the turntable. Or before we do that, let's compare him to some other models. Here is Alex Vandel. Both are kind of like vans. Although I think uh, Kimuro here is based on like a Cyan XB or something. Kind of looks like that. I don't know what. Yeah, he's very similar to Vic Vanley. And I didn't bring Vic Vanley out. There's Alex Avanda. Here is Frank Pinkerton. Um, really not that similar. Way bigger. This is the one that was released in 2009, maybe? That one? Um, one that was released in the Star Just Camp set. That was either, I think that was 2009. But it also could have been 2010. I'm sorry if you hear some noise. It is raining outside. Um, there's a van scent. Here is Eric Lanely. I'm not exactly sure I brought him up, but whatever. Um, Alright, bring that. There he is. Really not similar at all. He's a Honda. He's based on a sign. Here is Tormentor's Biggest Fan. I literally think that was his name. Tormentor's Biggest Fan. And here are the two sumo wrestlers that uh, Kimaru was the referee for. Um, obviously, he's the referee for the sumo matches. And well, they were probably in the thumbnail. Um, there you can see how he compares to them. He's very small compared to them. I'm not exactly sure if that was the size, if that was the uh, scale in the movie, if that was the size scale in the movie, but there you can see how he compares to the two. Um, Pinion Tanaka is the blue one. So this one, and Kingpin Nubunaga is this one. And they also have kind of like these hats. Oh, these are supposed to be, I think those, these are supposed to represent hair, whereas these are, whereas this is actually supposed to represent a hat, I do believe. But yeah, they kind of, like, they released all three of these in the same year. I think very, like, close to each other. So, they made the most of that split second these guys appeared in the movie. Mattel did. But they're way bigger than Kimuro Kai, though. Here, so, yeah. Let's give Kimuro here a ride on the turntable. I should have brought out Vic Vanley, but... And now I'll put up a picture of where he appeared in the movie. Right there. Um, he was obviously the referee. And he did make the call. Like he announced, uh, I think it was Pinion. Who won? I believe it was Pinion who won. Um, he announced Pinion as the winner. I, I do believe it was him who won. But yeah. So yeah, that will do it for my review on Kimaru Kaizo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for more. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, 
and yeah so thanks share the video as well so yeah thanks for watching this video guys hope you enjoyed and i'll see y'all in the next one whatever that may be i'm not exactly sure i've got a lot of different things to review um some hot wheel character cars maybe some made direct cars some disney cars so a lot of things will be coming to this channel but yeah thanks for watching this video guys hope you enjoyed and i'll see y'all in the next one bye bye